very yeah. soon, very soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure I popped a charge pipe. <laughs> These are the two tires I was talking about, I was waiting on that were supposed to be here Thursday, which is tomorrow. I ordered these Monday night and they got here yesterday. <laughs> this is about as good as I'm gonna get without changing um, the size of my rim to like a 15, which I don't wanna do because I don't wanna lose my BBK in the rear, so. Mission accomplished. I was able to fit two of the rims in the trunk still. On my way to best tire, dog. We have made it back to the sunken mobile. These gotta go. Oh yeah. Very nice. The thing that sucks about my coils, I'm running the BCs with the spring bucket, so my camber's not fully adjustable because I don't have a true coil over. So um, I'm gonna raise it a little bit just so it can help. Cause I still think I have like negative three or 2.9, something like that. So. Running this kind of setup, you really want to have like no camber. All right, they are mounted. No more sunk in place. As you can tell, wheels make a hell of a difference. Yeah, we're gonna see how this fits. I'm pretty sure at the right height, it's gonna sit like perfect, but I still want to raise it. It's pretty much perfect. How you guys doing today? I am doing awesome. All right, so yesterday I actually forgot my camera, but I went and had my injectors cleaned. My car was starting to sputter a little bit, and my fuel system's A1, so the only thing it would be was it would be the injectors, and I pretty much knew they were dirty. I ran straight 85, no pump gas, never cleaned them out for like it was over a year. So and I asked for it. I asked for it. That was my fault. Um, I cleaned them out though; they're good. But uh, one of them is actually uh, stuck open. Uh, 85 it, it gunks up it gets all like milky and chunky and stuff especially if you let it sit and you don't drive the car a lot it gets all gunky and like built up in there so i'd probably at least try to clean the injectors every three to six months it would probably be good to do that um i'm just lazy <laughs> but um all the injectors are good now just one of them is uh it's stuck open i'm either gonna go get another one or try to warranty it or whatever and my car still ran like pretty damn normal so it should definitely feel a lot better once I get it back on some clean injector. You know, I'm hella proud of myself. Five years ago, I definitely told myself I'd be here, and I'm here, so shout out to me, man. Casually driving my new GTR around on a Thursday. That's goals for me.
to be honest, I always wanted a shifter cart. These things are dope. A little 125cc engine, flying. <laughs> Is that a Tomei? Oh, yep. Sleek, Tomei. Sweet, new injector, they had it, so dope. So after seeing how dirty my injectors were on my Z, after running all that corn, um, I'm definitely gonna run some pump gas through this. I think I put about like 5,000 on E, so yeah. I'm gonna start running more pump gas to this, so I don't have to deal with that as much. Man, I can see the Z from here. I think it looks sick. It definitely looks like it's ready to go fast. Hello. I absolutely like love this setup, bro. It looks perfect. It's fire. Just need to raise it a little bit, get some of that camber out so I can get all the meat on the ground. This should be cool. I was dying at how many people saying I, I copied TJ Hunt because he has a mag booty. He's like, bro, anybody could buy these. All right, so I'm gonna put all these injectors in. Go for a little test drive after, see how it feels. something make sure there's brake fluid in here yeah I got fluid for sure I don't know yeah bro these lights are already bugging the shit out of me it's so annoying yeah, I'll do a little test hit right here see how the injectors do Let's see what popped off. <laughs> now that we were thinking about it, uh, the ABS light, all that, all the lights are probably because of the tire. Um, it's because it's so tall, it's throwing off the, uh, the ABS systems, and that sucks. So I got all those lights. Build a race car, they said. Oh, and then my passenger door completely took a shit. I need to go in there and mess with the fuel pump door handle completely took a crap. I changed the door handle, but the whole I think it's the mechanism. I can't even open it, so I have no idea how I'm gonna get this thing open. So, uh, that's that. Ooh, look, that's a nice snack right there. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Oh, yo. Yeah. What's up, bro? You need that? All right, so I just unplugged the ABS shit just to make sure it doesn't do anything stupid, like lock up my brakes or something when I'm trying to do a pull. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the fucking speedometer's not working right now, but it's just definitely flying. It feels a lot better than it did. Woo! So that can bust your guys' bubble on the breaking in the clutch. 28 miles since I put the clutch in. Damn near 700 torque, still grabbing banging gears. With, the, with, with when you have the lift, so that still was leaking. Me, so I like I like doing that. 
Oh, got so that fixed. Well, Should be good after that. I do take just gotta like put new lifters the when they come in, and then uh, just wait for my valve cover to be done. I had them clean the baffles out. So very soon, very soon. But it starts, it runs. Everything right now is good. The life of trying to mess with like multiple cars, man. And this one uh, definitely confirmed that because of the tire. That's why I got the ABS lights. So. Yeah, the only way to get rid of those lights is to literally just do what I did before. Take the cluster off and just block them off with tape. Definitely pet peeve. I hate dash lights, so I'm going to have to do that. I need to take the fuel pump out tomorrow. I need to clean it because the float's not working properly. The fuel gauge is being stupid. Um, I need a cooling line. This line's leaking. I need to fix that. Almost there, man. Almost there. But it's boosting. It feels good. Everything works, so that's the... That's the big part. And if any of you guys have any idea how I can open this door, let me know. It's completely, won't open from the inside. It used to open. I used to mess with the lock and it used to open, but now I felt it and it, the whole mechanism must have came off or something because it's nothing. So I have no idea how I'm gonna ever even open this door again. <laughs> have to climb in this thing like a NASCAR. Heater on, boy. That's that. So yeah, guys, I'm probably gonna end the video here. I'm pretty sure I have enough footage for the video. Um, yeah, man, drop a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel. You guys know I'm that guy. I'm always gonna bring you solid content, no BS. It's all real. So um, appreciate you guys that follow me. Appreciate you guys that got me on notifications. Every time I drop a video, you guys are in there quick as hell <laughs> that's dope man so appreciate you guys um yeah i'll be back soon you know i've been trying to make videos pretty often now like everything i'm doing now i'm trying to record it for you guys because i know you want to see so i right, then i'm out